Welcome to Lime Park. We're at Lime Park today and some interesting information about Lime Park. One, it's the largest house in Cheshire. Two, it was the filming of um, Pride and Prejudice, the one with Colin Firth in the 90s was filmed here. And that is the pond, lake, whichever you wish to call it, that uh, it was filmed when he got wet and was coming out of. He'd been for a swim. Also, it's a Grey One listed building. We've been inside, but unfortunately they told us we couldn't film, but we could photograph. So I've got photographs uh, I will show you. A little history about Lime Park House. The estate was granted to Sir Thomas Daniers in 1346 and it passed to the Lees by marriage of his daughter, Margaret. This is one of the Lees, I'm not sure if it's the seventh one, uh, as it dated back about 500 years, so there's been quite a few, but this one he was a bit of a collector. He liked uh, artefacts and spent time in Greece and places collecting artefacts. This is Lion. He's a lime mastiff, which apparently was supposed to have become extinct in the 1900s, uh, but people dispute that. But he was a huge, huge dog. There's some beautiful tapestries in here. The rooms are set out so beautiful. Look at that bed. It's a replica, but it's a 1700s replica from a, a Tudor one. The rooms are just opulent. The ceilings are just fantastic. Every room's got a wonderful ceiling. And the stained glass windows are beautiful. This is William Morris wallpaper in one of the bedrooms. I think it's pomegranate. And then you've got the lime sarum missile. Now, the Lime Sora Missile is apparently one of the oldest books of the National Trust. They had it, I think it's Thomas Caxton's first book, I think it's that he printed. So it's a very special book and it takes pride of place. This is my favourite room. This is the Tudor room, the oldest part of the house. And there's me dressing up as they have a room that's uh, all for dressing up so you can just go and you can try on clothes of uh, Regency style and I have to admit I think I look a little bit like a boy George uh, look alike in that particular photo but it's fun to dress up. And this is the Anglo-Saxon cross that's in the chapel. That is what Andy loved the most. That was a surprise for him and that's what's made this trip memorable for him.
It's the middle of March and we have Heather out here in the beds at Lyme. We'll see what else we've got. Now I'm not sure what these are. I can't get close enough to see if they are, if they smell, if they are Daphne or is it up there? I'm not quite sure. Oh, my first little insect there. So. This would be nice for a floral image. Just look at the beautiful tile floor in here. Lovely Victorian mint and tiles. This is a bananas. Ferns are starting to unfurl here. Fatsia japonica, apparently, that's what it says. It's a beautiful urn. It's really pretty, I really like that. If we go down into the orangery down to the other end. Look at those ferns, they're fantastic. I do like tree ferns, they're sort of prehistoric. Oh wow, look at this. This is lovely. Sorry, sorry. It's lovely. Camellia japonica. It's lovely to see those blooming. Fantastic camellias. A whole wall of them. Go all the way up. and some cacti. Almost sculptural. Yeah, they are like sculptural trees. They are beautiful. Not sure without the leaves on what they are actually. Awesome. Not sure if they're oaks or they look like they could be oaks actually. It's hard to tell when they're leaves. It is. Like you're a tree expert. <laughs> just looking at this, they just are really sculptural, aren't they? Yeah. Ah. It's all the moss, all the moss growing over them. Yeah, this is when you start looking and seeing faces in them and things. 
especially here now. I think that looks like a face. I've got that. What do you think? That looks like a deer. <laughs> you think so? <gasps> Just about there. Oh, well, my thumb's going the way now. I think. I think it looks like a. Yeah, okay, it's open to interpretation. Yes, very much. That is really pretty. What are you thinking so far? Oh. <laughs> About the house? I like the Anglo-Saxon stuff. <laughs> yes, we, we go in there, we see all these beautiful paintings and, and walls, cross, and then there's, we find an Anglo-Saxon cross and that makes Andy's day. <laughs> yeah, really good. Well, yeah, we're still on about in the gardens. We've got lots to discover in the gardens yet and the park itself. And I would like to see if I can find some of the um, furry inhabitants of this place. We can try. We'll try.
Well, we're walking up uh, in the parkland now, out of the way of the house, and we come across a bee home. Which is a really nice one, I'm sure the bees would love that. We've also got a home for hedgehogs. It's lovely. Rather lovely, the high peaks. Yes. Not so in winter, no. but in summer they're beautiful. <laughs> I've, I've driven up there towards Glossop on the high peaks and all that is purple with heaven. Yeah, it's beautiful when it's out with heaven. Later in the year it'll be covered. Yeah. Well, it's all black over there. That's all the heather moorland. It's just, um, well, we can't pick and choose the weather all the time of year, really, else we'd only go a few places, wouldn't we? So yeah. we have to just admire, I think, every time of year. Yeah, it's beautiful, doesn't matter, whatever really, Yeah. whatever season, it has its own, it's little, own beauty. little differences, you know. Okay, we've walked up on the top now and there are deer here, although I don't know whether Andy needs to get his camera out to see these. They're a little bit, unfortunately I can't pick them up with it. You just about see them there, but sort of over there. But it's not very good. I'm going to have to have it go a bit closer around the other side. I won't pick it up, it's a little bit on me. Got one with an antler on. I don't know whether it's a, a stag or not. Well, that ends our day at Lime Park, and I think we've had a wonderful day. We've uh, seen Rather everything nice. we wanted to see, haven't we? Lovely to have the hall. Yeah, you got your Anglo-Saxon bit. I got my Anglo-Saxon, <laughs> which was really good. I got the cows and me deer. Lots of paintings. Lots of paintings. Lots uh, of uh, grand tour things. Yeah. So, yes, if you like paintings, like grand houses, this is the one for you. And especially if you want to walk miles, because there's, yes. there's, there's hundreds of acres in which to walk around. Yeah, especially with your dogs. <laughs> yes. yeah, you can walk miles and miles you with your dog. <laughs> you can. Well, we've done a short tour today. Obviously, there's a lot more to see in here. But please, uh, come and visit. I think it's really worth a visit. A good day out. Lots of families here. So... Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you back in the studio. Bye. Bye. Hi and welcome back to my little studio. Well, today we were at um, Lime Park 
uh, in Cheshire and what a wonderful place that is. There's no denying it, it's a huge home with it's got so much treasure inside it, I suppose, in the way of paintings. The fireplaces are stunning. Um, the rooms were gorgeous. I love the oldest room that was uh, of Elizabethan age in there. The rest is sort of Regency. But it was an absolutely beautiful place. But for me, what made it is the outside. Uh, I mean, there are hundreds of acres in which to explore, which, of course, we didn't have time to do that. Most of it's moorland, and that would be you know, pretty much similar for a video and a bit long-winded. Um, we did look at the gardens. Um, we missed a little bit of the gardens, but we saw quite a few of them. Uh, we obviously saw where Mr. Darcy came out of the lake. We saw that, of course. Andy was really chuffed with his um, Anglo-Saxon cross. That sort of made his day. Um, there's the cows, the, you know, the longhorn ones, the um, highland cattle, they were just fab. It's a shame I couldn't get a closer view of them, but obviously the time of year it is uh, probably better to go later in the year if you want to see them a bit more up close and personal. The same, the deer, they, there was loads of them, but you can't go any closer to them. You have to stay on the footpath um, because you scare them off essentially and obviously you spoil everybody else's viewing so you have to sort of make do with what you you do the great thing was on the way back home we uh, actually saw a farm that had got highland cattle so um, Andy took a, a photo of one that I can paint so I'll add that on the tail end of this so you can see the picture that uh, he took so it's essentially the same obviously as what was in the park but a little closer to home um so today it was a great day loved it it was uh, nice to get out uh it's such lovely walks i mean like we said on the video if you want to go out there with your family with your dogs there was hundreds of dogs absolutely hundreds of dogs out there everybody walks the dogs so you know it's a great place to to visit just for a day out anyway uh, as for painting like i say i will probably do the highland cattle well certainly one of them that we took on the way back because the photos that Andy did because we had to sort of um, bring them in telephoto wise to such an extent they're, they're not particularly clear photos so we'll use the one that we took on the way home but that was the inspiration anyway so I've got the inspiration for my next painting so hopefully you'll watch that when I put that up and I'll see you soon thank you for watching bye